Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, I'm your host, Matt, and this is your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at custom post type UI, but we're actually taking a look at custom post type UI's younger brother. It's custom post type UI extended which is a mouthful. I've made about 17 videos already trying to get that out. Uh, but this is where we're gonna take a look at using the custom post type generator. We're gonna create a couple custom post types and we're gonna use the extended add-on, which is a premium plugin, starts at 29 bucks, goes all the way to $84 for unlimited sites. And it allows you to take those custom post types that you made, put them on any page or post, uh, using a short code. So if you wanted to show a listing of like inventory or team members or important blog posts, that kind of thing, or pages, you can do that with the CPT UI extended add-on. And uh, it's really a great useful plugin, especially if you are, you are a developer and you've been using CPT UI on a lot of your WordPress sites. So let's go ahead and dive in to that plugin right now. So CPT UI extended is a great add-on to CPT UI. Makes it super easy uh, for you to display those custom post types in an archive setting uh, on any page or post in your WordPress site using a short code. Uh, you go right into your WordPress editor, click on the little CPT UI uh, add icon, and you can then adjust the parameters. So you could say pages, posts, your custom post types, and then what do you want it to look like when it displays? Is it a list? Is it a grid? Is it a slider? You make those little tweaks and those little changes. You can do things like not show the featured image, show the featured image. You can put a title to all this stuff. It just makes it really easy. You don't have to write any lines of code to display your custom post types. It's really great for somebody who's really invested in CPT UI as a plugin. Maybe you're building a whole bunch of sort of large scale WordPress websites and you really just want to be able to get those archive displays done so much faster. That's why you use a plugin like this and it's only 24 bucks uh, for the site. And again, 84 for unlimited sites. Really can't go wrong with the price. And the idea behind that is you have the support from Web Dev Studios um, under the Pluginize brand. They are the company behind it. They have the developers who are dedicated to this uh, plugin and supporting it, that kind of thing. So that's really worth its weight in gold. Let's dive into actually using it on a live site. All right, we're going to dive right into this uh, sort of demonstration between custom post type UI and custom post type UI extended and sort of what you can do with it. There's a lot here. We're not going to dive into every single uh, option available in this plugin just because it's it's going to be um, so overwhelming for just a short uh, short demo video. Uh, but the first thing you do is you get CPT UI, you install it into your WordPress website. This is what's going to uh, be your sort of home base for creating custom post types. If this is your first time looking at custom post types in WordPress, uh, what are these things? These are these are post types that go beyond your core posts and pages. So for instance, in this video, I've created a custom post type called inventory. Uh, you could have a custom post type called books, team members, products, whatever it is. It's just a another way to make WordPress a true content management system, right? When you are building sort of larger scale sites with a lot more content, you normally outgrow um, pages, right? And you want to organize it, uh, number one. And number two, you might want to add uh, custom fields and just content that's not uh, just going to be a post or a page, right? That's going to be a regular post or page in your WordPress website. So you use something like custom post type UI to build these custom post types. So like I said, I created the inventory one. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at, at uh, editing one of these just so you can see it. Um, edit post types. <clears throat> this is the inventory one. So you can see here, all you do is you name it, call it inventory, uh, the plural label, the singular label, and then you can add a description. So you could do something like, this is for all of our inventory items. It doesn't matter. It's it's This is just to help whoever's using it. And then with custom post type UI, you have all of these sort of labels that you can change. So number one, this is great for uh, consultants or agencies who are building WordPress websites for people. You can change these labels to make it maybe a little bit easier to understand. Um, and from an organizational perspective, you can uh, make the user experience uh, better for the people who are using your WordPress website. So if you're building like, let's say, higher education websites tend to have lots of different uh, bits of content. You can really change these labels to tailor it towards uh, your user experience. So again, look at all these options. We're not going to cover all of that stuff today. For the most part, what you all you have to worry about is go ahead and naming that, and that'll just automatically add this stuff uh, to the menu 
uh, the admin menu so you can go ahead and add these. Then there's some settings below, uh, has an archive, doesn't have an archive, the types of capabilities that they have, um, hierarchical of meaning if you could just sort of reorder these or sort these in your WordPress site, show in the menu, that kind of thing. What's the menu position? Again, so much stuff here. You can really uh, tweak this even all the way down to the menu icon if you wanted to change uh, the icons to represent your custom post type, you could do that. So we've created our custom post types and I've gone ahead and I've just added uh, three items here, item one, two, and three. And again, these are basic custom post types. All they have here is uh, obviously the post title and the content. You can extend this by going into getting into custom fields, adding custom fields to your custom post types, which is very common um, you know, when it comes to creating, again, larger content-driven websites. Let's go ahead and look at an example at putting those custom post types into any post or page uh, in a WordPress site. So I'm going to go test page. Uh, this is just filler text. And when you have custom post type uh, CPT UI extended enabled, you'll get this little icon right here in the editor. We're going to go ahead and click that. That'll bring up this modal area. And this is where you sort of get to configure the short code that you're about to make. So you go ahead and click on what kind of post type do I want to display? So you can see here that it you can pull in a post or a page or the inventory items that we just created uh, or any custom post type. If you had if you had 12, you'd see all 12 of them here. So we're going to go ahead and click on the inventory one. And then it's going to say, what do you want this short code embed to look like? How do you want that to display? Let's go by, let's go with default right now. And as you make those selections, depending on what selection you make, you'll be presented with another set of options to, uh, to configure. And you can title this. So you could say our top three products because we only have, or <laughs> our top three items because we only have three. Uh, would you like a featured image? I'm going to say yes to that. Choose post. So you could come in here and you could actually um, drill it down to certain IDs. You could actually search for some custom post types. You could just add them in right here like this. But I'm just going to leave it to all three because we only have three. Then you have the selection, or excuse me, the order by date that you can uh, that you can modify. When were these things created? That kind of thing. And then what order ascending or descending? If you had taxonomy attached to them, do you want to display that tax that tox? Excuse me, that taxonomy. I don't have any in this uh, example, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit insert short code, and you'll see it builds out the short code. Uh, looks like I had the cursor right after that, so I'm just going to hit enter there and give it a little space. So I'm going to hit publish, and then we're going to preview that change and open this in a new window. Boom! There's our three top items. Uh, there's the featured image that we selected. They all three of them have the same featured image, uh, but there's our post titles. And then when I click that, it's going to bring me into that uh, particular custom post type. Uh, and you can see right up here, it's inventory slash item three. Uh, let's go and drop in another one just so we can see another example here. Inventory. Um, let's take a look at, let's see what the difference is. Well, let's go with post sl slider. That one sounds kind of fun. Again, I'm going to leave everything the same. Um, slider height, pixel height for the slider example, 300 default, 300 pixels tall. We'll leave that. Uh, we'll show the post title. We'll show the bullets. Now we're not going to do autoplay for this example. So we're going to go ahead and insert that, hit update. And I'm going to refresh this page. Let's take a look at what that slide. Oh, nope. This is not the right one. Let's close that. Let's open this up. Boom, there's our slider. You can see that we can slide through our content. So you can see it's really flexible. You can put these short codes, uh, again, within any custom post, or excuse me, with any post or page. You could wrap your content around that, put some other sort of media around that. You could really build collections of content a whole heck of a lot easier. Again, the whole idea here is if you're really invested into CPT UI for building those larger scale content websites, this is a great addition to uh, your tool set. It's only 24 bucks for one site, 84 if you want unlimited sites. And it's very easy. Just drop these short codes in. It'll display those uh, pieces of content in whichever selection uh, that you've made. And again, you can even go and do your normal posts and pages as well, not just the custom post type. So if, that, if you find that handy, um, it's a great reason to pick it up. It's CPT UI. You can get that uh, you can get it for free at wordpress.org uh, by searching for a CPT UI or a custom post type UI. You can get the extended add-on at pluginize.com. Check it out.